Welcome everyone to this stream or if you're watching on YouTube this awesome video. Um, I'm here with my boy Fat Panda. We're doing a quick collab. Yo, why don't you uh, let everyone know um, how long you've been playing Strike Force for, what you do, precisely everything. Just go. You got it, Saint. Uh, so my, I'm um, Fat Panda, guys. Thank you guys for having me here. Uh, I'm actually a general manager and personal trainer at a boxing facility. So sometimes if you guys watch my streams or my YouTube, you'll see a boxing gym behind me. Um, no, it's not a WWE ring as much as I wish. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been playing Marvel Strike Force since it was first released. Um, I took a long break for a while and I regret it because the catch up afterwards was horrendous. Um, but now I'm back in it. I'm loving it. I started streaming. Uh, thanks to the real T dubs and helps from people like Valley, so on and so forth. And everyone's been so supportive and so helpful in this community. And I absolutely love streaming this. I'm again, I am new to streaming. Um, I actually got ranked number six and fastest growing in Marvel Strike Force streaming, which is yep. super huge of an honor. Um, again, thanks to people like Saint, Bendable, um, mm -hmm. you know, there's so many people out there. Vanderas, man, there's so many. And if I'm, if I'm forgetting you, please, please forgive me. There's just mm -hmm. too much going on right now. <laughs> run, shout out to Run7, who's actually in chat right now. And Bendable. Of course. Yes. Chat Sorry. Up right now. Yeah, you were saying, man, go on. Uh, but yeah, man, so that's pretty much what I do. Okay. Um, we're here. We're here. We're ready to do this collab. I'm super excited for this. We are indeed. So first thing I want to mention is what caught my eye of panda from my side you what you haven't seen is i saw he was doing some hero for hire counters which um before even before um omega red was released and in situations like myself as you can see i haven't unlocked omega red yet and he had some amazing ideas for heroes for hire counters so there will be links um, on youtube for his uh, channel um I'm just going to drop my YouTube and my Discord um, in chat if you want to come and check me out. And I will. Um, oh, I, I put it in the wrong thing. I put it in uh, in the chat with Panda. Um, yeah, I will add them in. But um, can you tell everyone, can you tell chat about your videos? And we will put some links up as well for you as you're talking about them. Yeah, so. Uh... For Alliance War, the, the, the alliance that I'm part of, uh, we're part of a TSF, and uh, we're the Council of the Chosen. And the leader nice. I have, you know, he, he can be he can be pushy, but in a, in, a, in the great way. Since he's been okay. so pushy, he's literally helped us so much in all aspects. Uh, shout out to <laughs> shout out to Lightning Strike. Um, so I I really focus on Heroes for Hire, right? Because that was the biggest issue. Yep. That was the biggest stalemate in Alliance War, like. Scopely made this team and was like, oh, you guys want to float full clear? Never mind. Stop. Take your time. So I wanted to make sure that was no longer an issue for us. Some people in my alliance took my advice. Some people didn't. Um, but thankfully, I was able to clear more than one team with the full clear without having to attack two times. You know, it, it was a big deal because full clearing is our whole thing. Yeah. Um, so obviously, Infinity Watch, everybody knew. Um, and then I did New Warriors with Doom and Surfer, but I didn't have Dagger yet because okay. I wanted to solely focus on getting Cloak. So I made sure I got Cloak to like five yellow before I even started focusing on Dagger, uh, which was kind of a no-no. I don't recommend that. <laughs> have them both together and work. Yeah, um, absolutely. But yeah, so uh, at the time I didn't have Dagger, so I just used Ultron. Okay. And um, it worked out perfectly. Because right. with Ultron, he had his revive mechanic, so he was able to survive Colleen's onslaught, right? Right, And then okay. we were able to uh, solely focus on removing Shang-Chi first. With yep. Doom, his basic would attack Luke Cage and put Disrupt, so his taunt wasn't an issue. So we were able to do that. Um, obviously, right. down the line, now I use Dagger instead of Ultron. Yep. And I'm still, at this point in time, hitting like 500k or lower heroes for hire. Um, nice. Where we are right now, obviously, it's getting to the point where I can't do that anymore, so I have to come up with some new stuff to use. <clears throat> but that's fine. That's progress. And then after the new Warriors team, the Weapon X team came out. Mm -hmm. So at that point in time, 
I didn't have a Mega Red, and I didn't have Lady Deathstrike, but I had a really awesome pull on Silver Samurai. Okay. Um. Yeah. Boom. There it is. That's beautiful looking. This one. And so. Uh, yep. Yeah. That, uh, that actually, I just posted up the new one forty minutes ago too for the the oh, other, snap. The other uh, Heroes for Hire. Um, okay. But that one's different. We'll get there in a second. Cool. Uh, so I used Silver Samurai, Saber Tooth, Wolverine, and then I used. Yep, perfect. There it is. Mr. Sinister and Emma Frost. This yeah. worked out beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, my Saber Tooth and my Wolverine are both like 70. Like ISO okay. 4. And that's it. But my Silver Samurai, uh, I, I liked him a lot. He was a really cool addition to the game. So mm -hmm. I definitely like focus on him pretty big. Uh, right. Unfortunately, now he's the third biggest Weapon X because now I have Omega Red and Lady Destroyed built. Yeah, okay. Um, this worked out beautiful because Mr. Sinister was able to clone Luke Cage too. To apply defense up on everybody so that way none of my guys got murdered right um here i almost lost right yeah if we so. didn't revive himself in that point in time mm -hmm. I probably would. Um, yeah but that was lucky I, made the video, I had to go level him up so that wasn't an issue anymore okay okay um, but yeah this whole video w worked out beautifully um fantastic everything i wanted it to it was nice it was good and run seven said it was a dope video so i appreciate you sir thank you very much yes. for that Yes, I saw him in chat. Unfortunately, um, because we're collabing, I can't give as much attention to chat. What I can say is a theme is saying X-Men can punch down into uh, Hero for Hire that aren't super massive, like 500, 550k or lower. That's exactly what you're going for because like this team right here, if you don't have, um, what you would call them, Omega Red, you wouldn't know what to do with your um, Weapon X. So that's perfect. So you've got another counter right there um nice 222 hey guys seven said i should come check you out welcome to the chat it's an absolute pleasure to have you everyone whose comments i missed yo nice thank you for the follow um make sure to stick around because we are going to also um pop over to panda's channel so we're gonna have a whole second section of this video as well um yo bendables in chat yo bendable for everyone i've seen your messages fly up i'm really sorry i missed them but love to you all um oh bendables at olive garden with his lady i hope that you have an amazing time man right so this is one of your videos and uh, we're not just going to stay on all this right. video because um, you've got a couple others so instead of just us watching these videos um uh, we'll let everyone go and check them out. You, I am curious. I, I do want to watch this new one, so I'll turn it up and hear what you're saying. Panda, uh, trying out a new team today. Yeah, that one. Um, we are um, going cool. This was the other one. I had it saved on my laptop. Omega I just never Red. posted it. So obviously you can see I really Icarus. didn't do any editing. Okay. I didn't edit my Fat Panda intro like I usually do. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, I understand your Eternals aren't huge. That I know when you build... Oh, big pun uh, biggest punch-up on Heroes for Hire, though. Yeah, as well. and, this, mm -hmm. and this worked out both on this. Mm. Um, and my my now are super freaking strong. <laughs> oh yeah, same. Um, I recommend everyone to just drop everything they're building and build up. Um, Eternals. Hey. Sassy mama. Yeah. Yep. Perfectly fine. Uh, Loki's gonna die. Loki is not okay. really needed anyways. No, it's just his passive. You just need it for the speed. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They go to town on me. Shang Chi almost murders everybody because okay. Shang Chi does. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, all the deaths and death put down. Yep. Go ahead. Um, I know this team looks like a bit of a waste, but um, you actually have two counters with this team because you're using your other three weapon X on that other team with Emma and uh, Loki, um, Emma and Sinister. So then you have your Omega Red and um, Lady Deathstrike here. So it's actually two counters and if you use x-men especially during christmas time oh, you use x-men as a punch down as well is that what you're that's, saying? What, that's what a theme said oh really I'm yeah have to check out that video, jimmy uh, that, that the way this looks interesting um, yeah i know i tried to do it a while back ago and it didn't work for me and then my leader got mad he was like don't oh. do that Okay. Well, <laughs> well, um, are you using your Eternals on offense or on defense? Okay, so at the moment, oh, my offense. leader yeah. immediately put them on defense, yeah. Well, on, on this video, I used them on offense, but uh, after okay. this war, he made me move it over to defense for now until people start to figure out 
obviously Ooh. how to counter it. Okay. Um, but yep. it, it was, right. you know, I used this team mm -hmm. as a hero for higher killer. So that definitely and then I used the Sabertooth team as a heroes for higher killer. And then I used my new Warriors team for heroes for higher killer. And of course you have Infinity Watch. So right. I had yes. Four counters the heroes for higher and an alliance war. Wow. Wow. Hey, that's amazing. Um what I wanna do is I actually want to bring up Discord because okay. I sent you some um some screenshots so that I'm gonna put on chat. Uh that's my server. Here we go. Let's find them. Where are they? So um sorry about this guys. Here's a here's one I want to talk about. Um, Eternals with Mercs, so it's an, an Eternal and Mercenary hybrid. I used um, my 690k X-Men to beat them. Uh, quite a big punch down, but Eternals can be beaten. But then yep. there's something else in regards to what we're talking about. Ah, yes, this is what I wanted to pull up. So you have your Weapon X on offense and you split them up to take out more heroes for hire. What about when people put Weapon X on defense like this? I was trying to go up against uh, pretty much 1.1 million Weapon X on defense. I I play war. I used to enjoy war. But um, in Plat 4, there's just so many million teams. It's kind of killing it for yeah. me. Um, what would you do in this scenario? Uh, I mean, in that scenario, I mm -hmm. would have to use a Weapon X team. Uh, my Weapon X right. team isn't high enough to beat that. Yeah. Uh, you can use for that, like a 650k Weapon X, maybe 700k could beat that. Seriously? Oh, so a yeah. mirror match Weapon X. Yeah, a mirror match. Okay. Yeah, that's that's going to beat that team is going to be a mirror match for sure. Mm. Okay, yeah, because I took this screenshot of my 980k um infinity watch and i absolutely got demolished yeah, by weapon x close. yeah absolutely demolished so i had to uh i had to quit out of that um what's going on with this um no don't close that please um yeah so we we've jumped into war pretty much um but uh i'm gonna take it back and talk about the game so i want to know um, how long you've been playing the game for, um, how long after launch, um, if you know your size, your roster, and stuff like that. Do you know? Do you have that information with you? Yeah, sure, buddy. I can definitely pull that up real quick. Okay. Um, so, like, like I said, I started uh, since oh. the game was launched. Um, I loved the game. I played it all the time. When me and the boys went, like, bowling, all three of us were around the table, like, bowling and still playing Marvel Strike Force. You know. uh, <laughs> It, it was a thing, man. It's definitely been a huge part of my life. There was a point in time where I, I stopped, right? I stopped playing for a bit. Oh, it was okay. roughly around when, when Doc Ock was coming out. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, Sorry, so I one didn't have second. To... Just one second. Is the volume for Fat Panda better? I upped the volume. Is that uh, better, Dope Fiend? Okay, uh, continue. Sorry about that, man. No, you're good. You're good. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, around that time when Doc Ock came out, that's when I took my break. Okay. Um, I can't tell you what character it was that came back that made me come back to the game. Right. Um, I've been trying to figure it out because T Dub asked me the same question. Um, right, okay. But yeah, I mean, I came back. Uh, let's see, my total. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I always check the wrong thing for that one. So I'm uh, 1,253 days in. Okay. And my TCP is about 13 mil. Okay. Um, yeah. So you're doing quite well. Did you say 1,250 days in? Correct, yeah. Oh, nice. Um, so I'm 100 days on you, and um, I think about 2 mil uh, above you in TCP. But uh, okay. I used to spend, I used to be um, a small whale, a blubbery dolphin. And, um, and yeah, so, but how much have you spent on the game? Are you pretty much free to play, or...? No, like I said earlier, that catch-up mechanic sucked ass. Uh, <laughs> I, I had to, uh, I had to catch up, right? And then yep. Kestrel was a big deal. Surfer oh, was yes. a big deal. Yes. And then of course, Deadpool was a big deal. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, T Dub's whale confession. He he hit me about four grand in the game. Oh snap! Well, you've uh, 
I've got a couple grand on you there. Um, yeah, it's uh, scary. If you haven't uh, seen T Dubs's um, Whale Confessions, I highly recommend you check that out. Um, I was going to put this on auto in the background, but uh, I'm getting absolutely ass kicked on um, <laughs> on Gamma 3.2 um, with my yep. symbiotes, which uh, I thought would absolutely smash it. But uh, let's let's see. Um, yeah, so um, we touched up on something there that uh, I was going to talk about, uh, but I can't remember. I apologize about that. Yo, Frosty, uh, we're glad to have you in the stream. Uh, glad that you came. What I wanted to um, just jump back to was the state of the game at the moment. So I've been playing since a week after launch, and... Um, uh, in the beginning, I absolutely loved the game. Um, I didn't use to spend on the game. And then as I played it, it was actually the first mobile game that I uh, wanted to spend on. I loved it that much. But um, I'm not going to list all the problems we have in the game. But uh, just at the moment, I just want to say the crashing of the game is terrible. I mean, I witnessed... Uh, personally, I have crashes. Uh, I can see by your reaction you have crashes. I think I witnessed some yeah. of your stream... But the most shocking ones for me was um, yesterday, OMG's um, offer review. Um, the game crashed mid-offer uh, mid review. Oh, not at the end of offer review, which, uh, which was terrible for him. Then also today, when he was doing offer review, he couldn't get into his main account. He had to do his offer review on his baby account. And oh, wow. uh, there's another streamer I was watching called Koala who does some awesome videos. He's literally just finished making a series of how to one-shot each node in Dark Dimension 4. And as he finished it and was celebrating, the game crashed. And luckily it counted, but uh, I think that's just terrible. It's terrible that whenever there's a problem that benefits them, uh, benefits us, it's fixed instantly. But all these crashes and everything, I mean, it's costing them loads and people um, calling up. So the last few days, I've contacted support twice about crashes in war, and they've sent me 225 um, war energy. I mean, yep. they're losing a they, lot they, by that with the scope of prices. In our war attack, I did mm -hmm. my new warriors against Heroes for Hire, and uh, we were neck and neck with the team, right? We ended up winning, thankfully. But we were neck to neck, and like we had all rooms targeted because we were doing the, well, I guess the foes method now because now it's four on each side instead of two on each side. Yes. And I went to take out the Heroes for Hire team, and it was like a 480k Heroes for Hire, and mm -hmm. I used obviously like 800k uh, New Warriors, and I beat them. Okay. Nice. But you know how like at the end of the game, it kind of like zooms in on your characters, and they're like standing there. It oh, yes. froze. At, it froze at that point, and then crashed. But I didn't oh, wow. care. I was like, oh, cool. I already got the victory. And I went back to the game and it said I canceled my attack. Oh, man, that's terrible. I was oh, so mad. that's terrible. Yeah. Message oh. contact. I was like, we are in the middle of a neck-to-neck -neck war. Like, things mm -hmm. like this cannot happen. Yeah, no, they can't. Absolutely. It can't continue. They have to... I mean, I know they've made... Um, I play on my uh, phone and on Bluestacks. On Bluestacks, I find it's a little bit laggy it's not as smooth as my phone the uh, the quality of my phone with 120 hertz display absolutely flawless if the game ran like that and didn't crash i'll be more than happy I, I would be happy with what other little bugs they have but when the game is crashing and you're getting frustrated like what if you're in the middle of dark dimension what if someone's oh in God. dark dimension 5 or something what if philosophers live streaming and it crashes how bad is that going to look for the game so that would be horrible yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But um, I think I, I don't want to talk about the negative. There's so much positive we can talk about. Oh, so, I agree with you. Yep, we're, we're going to move on. And we're going to move on to something that I have been waiting for since X-Men have dropped off. And that's a rework to X-Men. Now, I know a lot of on, uh, envoys uh, have covered this already. So we're not going to talk about it in great detail, but um, the... Needs to wake his fiance. 
Oh, my wife is telling me. My wife reminded me to remind you that you need to wake your fiance. Oh, thank you so much. Baby yeah. girl. Okay. Yeah, not, not a problem. I'm going to actually load up. How is this? Now we have a moment. How is everyone doing in chat? Um, sorry, I am just paying attention because we're making a YouTube video. So I'm paying attention to the stream, but I'm not forgetting you guys. Um, after the stream, I'm going to go back up and read every single one of your comments. I am doing fantastic. Thank you very much, man. Um, how is your day going, Prosty? And it's nice to see you in chat. I've seen you about, but um, I normally stream at 7 a.m. London time. That's GMT plus one. Um, and I know it's really, really late for a lot of you guys. Um, I know um, Avengers stays up until 4 a.m. to catch my stream. Bless him. Big shout out to him. Um, big shout out to Micro and 800, who are my mods as well. They're from Singapore. Um, but yeah, we get some uh, some awesome people. And it's, uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to jump in with um, Fat Panda. And he normally streams at this time. So it's amazing that we can share this time. Um, and uh, I get to see you guys at this time. So that's amazing. Um, did you manage to wake her? Yeah, she's slowly waking up right now. Tell your wife, thank you so much for reminding me too. Then, if we would have done this whole time, I just would have gone right over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fat Panda, thanks you for reminding me to remind him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all good. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to jump in and see X-Men and talk about them. I'm going to just bring up all X-Men because uh, I think we can talk about all of them. I'm getting confused. There's so many X's. X-Force, X-Factor, like seriously. So um, I was really lucky to pull like five Red Star on Magic. How did you do on your Red Star pull? Absolutely horrible. It was the worst Red Star pull that I've had since, since I started hoarding Red Star orbs uh, for new character releases. I only got a two on her. Um, I opened up, I think, like 30 red starters mm -hmm. and three elites. And I only got one pull for her, and it was a two red. Oh, wow. It sounds like you had OMG's look, because I know... Mm -hmm. Actually, his look was worse. He opened his orbs. I didn't watch the video. He opened his orbs and didn't pull any on her. Someone donated oh, $100 for him to buy the red star packs, and then he finally managed to get a three. That that's a follower right there. Holy shit! <laughs> just to, just to watch your man uh, succeed. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Um. So I just want to say, if you want to see a red star opening for magic, don't watch OMGs or pandas because they're terrible. Come watch mine because I pulled a five. It worked. Just messing with you guys. Um. You you completely missed the joke. Yeah. You said if you want to see a, a red star opening, go watch mobiles or fat pandas. Yeah. I, my, my I said. Yeah, I said don't because you guys didn't get good pulls. I said, come watch mine. I got a good pull. <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you um, my uh, oh, X-Men. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? I said, you have a really pretty X-Men team. My team don't look anywhere near like that. Oh, yes. So even while Wolverine was terrible, okay, before his rework, I put the T-Force into him to work with Phoenix. And um, I brought him right up. Um, I just love Wolverine. I love all X-Men. So to have the, I mean, X-Men, best X-Men team in the game. Doom Raids, even though magic is in the game, um, this is something we wanted, wanted to touch up on. The X-Men are still the pinnacle uh, mutant raid team. So this brings me, I'm going to have to flip onto i keep losing it i'm gonna have to flip onto my discord i kindly saw jesse uh jesse a b uh, i met him in stream sorry jesse pinkman Je uh, not jesse pinkman no um jesse b i met him in stream um he very kindly followed my stream this morning which was amazing um he is over 20 million tcp um in mm. a huge alliance He's actually doing Doom 2.3. At the moment, I'm doing Doom 2.0, um, and I'm one-shotting all my nodes until mutants, and then I'm struggling. So the other day, I had to two-tap each node because 
I timed out. My okay. X Men are five hundred. They're six hundred k. Five hundred ninety seven. Um, I had to two tap each node, and then someone tapped the boss node once, and I had to go in and five tap it. I spent up okay. to two hundred energy. I spent over a thousand energy trying to get it done. It's it's horrible. Um, it's oh. mutant is absolutely horrible. And I know you're doing two point two point two, right? All right. Yeah, we're we're in two point two now. We are steady. We are at steady sixty percent. Two point two now. Right. Okay. So uh, before I go through his teams over here. Um, because he has absolutely huge teams, as you can see mm -hmm. right here. Um, I want to ask uh, for my benefit, when we finish Doom 2.0, um, when we move into Doom 2.1, is there anything I have to uh, be cautious of? Is there any advice that you can give? Uh, not really, man. Honestly, uh, I feel like 2.0 to 2.2 were all the same. 2.2 is a little bit tougher. Um, but it's all pretty much the same. If you're doing the if you're doing the right kill order, it kind of doesn't really matter what your team power is. I will say in two point two though, uh, it it's it's way trickier. So I can only imagine what mm. two point three is like. Um, uh, so like skill node on two point yep. oh two point one, I was able to demolish that. I can do all three of my nodes um, super quick, no no problems, one hits, no no refills, no revives, nothing like that. Okay, and uh, what two team do you use? Sorry. Oh, you're good. Uh, I use this uh, Secret Avengers with okay. Shang Chi. Okay, nice. And Kestrel, obviously. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. everyone just is for Secret Avengers, even though they didn't give her the tag, which is stupid. Y yes, precisely. Uh, yeah. So oh, I you were saying Nick Fury, though. Sorry, you use Nick Fury? No, no, I don't. I don't use Nick Fury. No, no, I, I, I don't either. Sorry, I cut you off, and you were saying about. Um, 2.2 skill nodes, how you walk through them in 2.0, 2.1. Yeah. And then 2.2, mm. man, it was, it was like, it was like a beating. So, uh, I had to put some teal gear on Shang Chi. I don't have him 16 yet though. I think I'm like, uh, two away from tier 16. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to be my first, uh, T16 character. Oh, nice. Um, okay. So his speed up and like his like little boost stats that I got specifically from putting the teal gear made it a little bit easier for him to survive like the first initial attacks okay and then his turn meter down ultimate is what made things a little bit better but when i first walked into 2.2 yeah like i lost all my main characters on the first node oh ouch yeah that's yeah, yeah. uh like, oh, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah um i just want to give a shout out to a theme in chat because uh, a theme is another absolute monster at raids and monster nice. you know before i even show this dude here, I'm going to scroll up. Um, it, I think it was in roster advice. Um, there was uh, Sassy Mama. So Sassy Mama runs a cluster um, of three alliances. She took over when uh, a dear friend of hers died. And she runs three accounts in them alliances. Um, she has this, um, this Discord mm -hmm. server here. It's an awesome Discord server. I am going to chuck an invite out um for everyone um here we go let's just paste it in here i actually can't i actually can't do it on my computer i don't have enough space um i will do it on my phone but uh, she wanted some advice because she was literally moving into the doom raids um okay so she asked for advice and she posted up her roster and a theme then uh, shot his roster up, so I'm going to give him a bit of a shout out. This is his a theme. What um, what raids are you doing? What doom are you doing? So he's showing his teams and what's best to use. Um, they so are big. That, that, yeah, he does. And the thing is, he's super focused. So he's only focusing on the top of his roster. He's he's a lower TCP. I think he's about 10 million TCP, but he's really put his investment into the right characters. So. Yeah, that's um, good. Yeah, he's uh, and a theme is everywhere. You'll catch him in the streams. Honestly, if you have a theme in your uh, stream, you're blessed. Listen to that guy; he knows his stuff. Um, but we will jump back. Oh yeah, speaking of crashes, I was one shotting the skill boss node and it crashed. Um, oh. It just just happens always. It's such a shame. Yeah, but let's go through this guy. So he has an eight hundred and sixteen um, X. What are they? X Men. 
um, and he's doing Doom 2.3, and the, the whole team goes to the left side. With this team, he says he gets one shot. He His characters get one shot on the first node, on Mutant, on the right side, which is insane because this is so much bigger than my team. Yeah, that's that's insane. That's crazy to hear because that means I'm not even going to come close to Yeah, precisely. Um, so Athamus says he's doing 2.0 at the moment. Most of his alliance don't have teams like his. He's the uh, he's the beast in his alliance. Um, there you go. Yeah, so big shout out to you, man. Um, and then his symbiotes are insane. Uh, he's got the ugly costume on both Carnage and um, Venom. Venom is one of my favorite characters, but this is one of the worst costumes, in my opinion. I just don't see the relevance, but there. <laughs> yeah. A cobra? We, we, <laughs> we should talk about the costumes in a bit, because I don't know where they're going with this. No, me neither. Um, yeah, so it's an Egyptian pharaoh Venom. Which, yeah. Yeah, but he had an 800k, pretty much 800k um, bio team here. So I don't yeah. know if he will be investing in new warriors. That's something that we're going to pick up in yours because I know you're excited for them. But I'm in this position as well. My um, symbiotes are so big. I think my symbiotes are 770k. So I mm. personally am sticking with symbiotes. If I'm right, if go. I'm wrong, I'll see. But I'll see what you have to say in your video. Um, here he has the mystic team. Guys, this is the greatest mystic team. I personally only have a three yellow... Uh, three yellow, four red on dagger, and a four red, four yellow on cloak, and then a four red, four yellow on my um, death lady Deathpool. Um, she sometimes doesn't survive Doom 2.0, so I am scared to bring them up. What I do is I bring Eternals, Doom, Silver Surfer, and Lady Deathstrike, and then I have loads of spares just in case. What about you? What do you do for Mystic? Oh man, uh, Mystic has to be one of my favorite, mm. um, especially because of Lady Deadpool. I really like her. Obviously, like I love Deadpool, right? And yep. so um, I didn't boost him up as heavy. So when they came out, Lady Deadpool, you know yep. the 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 Lady Death, the yeah. yeah, Death and Deadpool. That was pretty cool. I, I like the idea of it. I knew Scopely was going to come out with a new character because Kestrel did so well. So I knew they would bring out another new character of their own. Um, so when they announced Lady Deadpool, I went all in, right? Uh, I got super lucky with her. On a regular Red Star pull, I pulled a 7 red on her. Oh, snap. Um, nice. Yeah. I, wish yeah. I, I wish I was streaking at that time, because I, I would have gone fucking bananas. Oh, sorry, my bad. I would have gone <laughs> bananas. And um, It's all good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was amazing. I think right now I have her at 5 yellow, though. So I'm not Damn. quite there. Uh, I well, I kind of wanted to purchase them, but I was just like, nah, it's okay. All within all within good time. Um, but my cloak and dagger, they're both five yellow as well. Yep. Um my cloak nice. is five red and my dagger's four red. Okay. And are you and, uh, are Yeah, you... I don't use sorry, go on. Sorry, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use uh Eternals yet, right? So right. I use them when my other team dies because it's the team that i love to use i love using doom i love using surfer so that's yes. the main five i use okay. and when when two people die which is usually cloak and dagger right yeah um or for some reason it's one it doesn't matter whoever whoever the two dies then i'll use eternals and then it's just cakewalk because those guys are insane oh amazing hey uh shout out to miss vera she's just popped in the chat hype to her Girl. Hey, um, yeah, so that's awesome. I think everyone's really much enjoying. Um, Mystic was one of them harder ones, especially if you don't have Doom, it was a harder one. But I think this team right here um, definitely gives you viability if you don't have Doom yet. Um, we'll move on, though, to one of the harder sections, tech. Now, what I do, I like to put a Doc Ock in the middle, have him... Um, flanked by Doom and Kestrel. And then on the first node, I put in Shuri and Nebula. Shuri to put offense up just to help cushion that Silver Surfer. And then the second node, I put um, Minerva in. And if I lose my um, Nebula, I have oh, what's it? Misty Knight. Um, I okay. also have Ghost and Ultron just in case others die. But uh, that's what I, I haven't tried 
Lady Deathstrike, and I don't know about Ghost. I really don't. There's, there's like the only healer on this team is Doc Ock, or when Doom does his ultimate. But what do you do on tech, especially in 2.2? Because that's okay. going to be flipping crazy. Yeah, so uh, I was having some really good RNG with it coming out of skill, right? Because I'm on the left-hand side. Yeah. So my first my first node on tech, I, I clear easily, and all my characters have full health, which is awesome. Because mm -hmm. I use the same team you use, right? I use Kestrel, Doom, Doc Ock, Shuri, and Nebula. Okay. And they do just fine on the first node. Mm -hmm. The second node, I have to quit at a certain point. Um, because yeah, I'm gonna lose everybody if I don't. Oh, so yeah. usually when I lose one or two, that's when I'll quit. And which is usually Shuri and Nebula. Those are the, usually the two to die. Right. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes with bad RNG, it'll be Doc Ock and Shuri. Mm. Um, with that, once I back out, then I use Ultron and Lady Deathstrike. Okay. Um, Lady Deathstrike has been working pretty well. She's awesome. Uh, she does the defense down if you have the T4 on her, which helps Kestrel. She mm -hmm. does the turn rewind as well for her uh, her special as well, which is awesome. Nice. So I just leveled her up, I think, to 80 just recently. Mm -hmm. So I'll be using her a little bit more. She might take even, even take the place of Nebula from Jump, but we'll see. Okay, nice one. Um, What ISO do you have on her? I have her Nebula striker. Strike. You have her striker, yeah. okay, yeah. Um, yeah, because there's benefits to do that. I believe I have a striker, but here... We see she is a skirmisher, which is interesting. I think that's just because the field is full of uh, other strikers. Uh, personally, in yes. this more on a rate focus instead of a war focus, that that would be understandable. Right. Okay. Cool. I'm with you. But we are definitely in need of a new tech. Um, oh, yeah. I, I I I think they shouldn't have given us web warriors. They should have given us a new tech raid team. But this oh, yeah. is what Scorpley likes. I think I think they like having us in desperate measures so that when a tech team finally does come out, everyone just throws their money at it. Yep, precisely. Yep. Precisely. That's what they want. They want us to be hungry for it, you know? Yes. Like, oh, you guys have a pretty decent bio team. Here's a new one that's even better. You're still uh, struggling with tech. Don't worry about it. We got you soon. <laughs> absolutely. Yo, Athem left a really good comment there if you want to read that. The start for Doom... Tech is you bring Doc out, Doom Castro, and two sacrificial lambs to pay the blood tribute to the Dark Gods. <laughs> yeah, hey. that sounds about right. Exactly what it is. Yep. And look at the size of this team 918 Secret Avengers Ooh. with yeah, uh, Kestrel and um, Shang-Chi. Shang that's, that's insane. Beautiful. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm lost for words. Um, literally, what I do, I. Even though I have Shang-Chi up, he's a spare. Shang-Chi and Colleen Wing are a spare on my skill. Every every team, um, after this, we'll go through my teams as well. Um, I literally have my main team and then a spare team, just in case I get completely wiped. Because I like the method that you do. So that's a strategy to do on the boss nodes when it's not going well and you don't have an ability block on Doom. To get Doom to do his ultimate, then literally... As soon as he does his ultimate, um, I let him take two moves and then quit and then go back in so he doesn't explode. Um, so that's precisely what you do. And worst case scenario, you're spending 50 cores for an extra energy, uh, for an extra 10 energy to go in rather than spending 150 cores reviving your whole team. No, more than that. 250 cores, right? Uh, well, it depends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it depends. It you. I, I never ran out of actually like raid raid energy like credits. Right. I'm not oh. gonna lie. Sometimes if I get low, I'll I'll just buy the offer to get like 500 more. So I've never actually spent power cores for raid energy. Right. Okay. You see, I uh, on average spend about 300 power cores on um raid. on the uh, the raid health. Um, I normally always spend the 250s just to uh, push a little bit further, but definitely them offers to. Uh, get the raid health is so much better than spending the cause, but uh, yeah. I'm trying not to spend on the game, so I just spend my cause. I'm I'm doing great in arena, something we'll touch on later. Um, so I I don't mind. I have them allocated cause for that. Um, but yeah, um, what I do actually, I replace Shang Chi with Red Guardian, um, even though Shang Chi is amazing, um, and I need to no, test him out God. more. <laughs> I love God, that. Please, it's, no, is it your sound no, alerts going on? No! No! 
<laughs> um, oh no, Thane played it on mine. Um, yeah, I run Shang Chi in there just for some extra survivability. So when um, Silver Surfer goes and does his ultimate straight away, he has to target Red Guardian, and that way yep. I can get my Silver Sam to get his taunt up, and I just keep bouncing the taunts up between them, and it just gives me survivability for days. See. I brought Shang-Chi up and I brought others up. I have Moon Dragon and Gamora. They've been Surprise, benched. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, we are seeing something, some speculations about uh, T'Challa, though. Will T'Challa be skill? That's something I'm going to have to check. Skill? No. Just, just tech. Oh, just tech. Okay, so T'Challa yeah. will be... Um, he will be interesting to uh, bring into there because he'll definitely counter Doom on that boss node. Yeah, yep. with his uh, with his stealing energy ability. So that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're going to touch more on him. In he, looks um, so <laughs> he, he does look interesting. I really do like the character. At first, when I thought it's a mix of Star-Lord and um, uh, Black Panther, I was like, what? But... I am not a comic book nerd. Um, I, I don't read the comics. I never have. Oh. I don't know that history behind it. I know a lot of people in my chat actually um, do. Um, I, you yourself, were you brought up reading uh, comics? Uh, no, not comics. Uh, mm. I've always been into Marvel, but I, I never did comics. Right. Um, but the whole Star-Lord T'Challa, that's from the What If series. I don't know if you've seen that yet. No, I haven't. That's definitely one that I want to check mm. out. Yeah, did, so the Doctor Strange, uh, the What If costume, did you see that one? I did, and that's been removed so that right, yeah. a new character can be released uh, early yeah. next year. So right? I don't know if they're going to do a What If team within itself, mm -hmm. or if they'll just do uh, just a new Doctor Strange and everybody else will have their own stuff. But yeah, his his What If Doctor Strange character is probably going to be super dope. Right. Okay, fantastic. Um, and same thing with T'Challa, he's just a What If character. Fantastic. I'm definitely going to watch that so I can figure that out a bit more. Um, speaking of characters that are coming to the game, um, you uh, you know something about Phoenix that I didn't. You uh, you mentioned it, didn't you? Yeah. What was that? So it, it was kind of mentioned a little bit earlier, and then uh, I was watching Tony again, and he brought it back up as well. Um, the, the data mine states that she's going to become a permanent unlock soon. Um, like a permanent legendary, like they did with Shuri and yeah. like, uh, Nick Fury, Iron Man, so on and so forth. Um, which I can see why, right? Cause they brought out magic. Yeah. Um, so they, they, and obviously this team is not like end game material. It's more mid game material. So it yeah. makes sense that they would make Phoenix more of a permanent unlock. And mm -hmm. thankfully um, from from what was told from like all the envoys were stating that her requirements are super unnecessary because yes. I mean if you think about it you got like hand assassin mm -hmm. you got Nobu. Ronin Nobu like all these characters who you're not even going to ever actually use in the game like the only time I've ever used any of those characters was specifically just to get Phoenix mm. like so yeah, so they plan on making her a five star unlock instead of a six star because she's the only one that requires a six star unlock, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's correct. Yep. So, so they'll, they'll drop that down and then make her a permanent unlock, which is pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. Um, I'm I'm surprised she's getting the permanent unlock well before some of the others. Um, so that's that's definitely interesting indeed. Um, what about Gambit and Rogue? Do you think they're actually oh. coming to the game? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest question everybody wants to know i am a huge gambit fan i love gambit and yes. i'm still waiting on uh, magic mike to make gambit happen uh <laughs> but um i i don't i would love to know for sure like if they could just say hey they're coming that's it i'd be yeah. stoked with that right there it yes. is yes <laughs> like just tell us you plan on doing it. you know we want it just tell us you plan on doing it um well well, the thing is, they mentioned it last year on, mm -hmm. um, I think it was February the 2nd. I think it was, oh no, it was Valentine's Day or something. Um, yep. it, I, I believe they mentioned it last year and then for a year it's been quiet and then it's popped yep. up, it popped up in Tana's channel. Um, Again. Yeah. So 
Personally, I, I don't believe them. I don't believe that it's coming until we have something set in stone, but it's right. definitely um, definitely some characters that I want to see come in. And But the thing is, with magic coming in and reviving Uncanny, I don't know where they'd fit. Would they Would they go in with Psylocke? Do you know much about um, Horsemen well, of the Apocalypse? I guess so. Uh, also with the... I'm sorry. Also with the the uh, the Emma Frost costume, mm-hmm. right? Oh, the yes. Dawn or something like that. Yep. So there was supposed to be some kind of rework around that as well with mm-hmm. Emma. So Emma, Psylocke, Gambit, and Rogue, and there was going to be one more, two would have been a team. Like the Excalibur team, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Oh, man, I might be all over the place right now. But... uh. But yeah, it's something around the Excalibur team that would be subject. Yeah, yeah, something to do with all of this. Um, right. And then we thought the rework for Phoenix was going to work around this, but then obviously they just did it with Magic and refixed the Uncanny team. So that yes. leaves open the Excalibur team that could come through, right? Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. That would that because would be obviously awesome. you know the whole Marauder team isn't really what it used to be anymore. Anyways, um, it kind of disbanded anyways. So that's mm, very excuse true. Me. Um, yeah. Although I do think Mr. Sinister, even though he got nerfed by Kestrel, I do think his kit with a clone will make him relevant throughout yes. the whole game. Oh, yeah, I agree. I definitely think he's That's a great character. And I got him at 7 yellow, 7 red after mm-hmm. I finished DD4 twice. So I was pretty mad about that. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Like I, I use promotion credits to get him up. While we're in here, um, I don't know if everyone's seen... But we have new costumes in the game. So Spider-Man has a new costume. Um, it's from his new movie. This is while uh, he's working with Doctor Strange. He has this costume. I am umming and ahhing about this costume, really. What do you think about it, Panda? Uh, I mean, I think out of like all the Spider-Man costumes, I was kind of disappointed. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, out of everything out there, you know, what we would expect to see they came out with the movie which i understand right they need to push also in relevance with marvel i get that yeah yeah. but i mean there are so many spider-man costumes we could have been dope to see like i probably would have done the fantastic four spider-man with a bag over his head before this one (laughs) um (laughs) i would i would have went with the the iron man spider costume uh 100 iron spider would have been dope yes um spider-man 2099 i actually thought uh spider-man 29 2099 was going to be the character instead of scarlet spider but right. I mean, Scarlet Spider's dope too. Okay, cool. Well, we'll talk about that more on your yeah. channel. Um, who else do we have? So we have Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer <laughs> goes on holiday. So I was in someone's stream this morning who thought this was the absolute shit. He thought this was dope. But okay, so to me... it's confusing because, like, it's it kind of is kind of cool, right? If, at first glance, it looks pretty dope. the the accent The accent, right, from mm-hmm. the orange and the flames. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. When you really dig into it, it's like, what the hell were they thinking, man? Like, <laughs> I know. I honestly, I know. I just don't get it. I, I honestly think it's something to do with uh, Christmas time and he's on holiday yeah. or something. But it's, it's just not my thing. I, I honestly, I can't look at it anymore. Uh, that's how much I don't like it. Um, I'm more one dope. for a classic look. Um, we talked yeah, about definitely. Venom. Uh, I don't know about Venom, but this has to be... I have a few favorite characters, but this Zemo character uh, costume has to be my favorite one by far. I think probably so far out of all the costumes, this is probably the coolest. We're right oh, next to yes. Gamora. Gamora is... and Elektra I I found super awesome. Oh, her Shadowline, yeah, that's a nice one yeah. too. Yeah, uh, but you don't get to see it because she's in stealth. Yep, like... 90% of the match, so. Yeah, but yep. this is a dope one. I like this one. He's oh, great. Yes. He's also he was a good character to give a costume to because mm-hmm. he's still used throughout all of the game. Oh, most definitely. Absolutely. And he, and he doesn't go stealth. That's sure. true. Um, and then Taskmaster as well. I actually entered the sweepstake, right? And then okay. I didn't hear anything back for ages. And then ages, um, yeah. I asked my teammates... Uh, in my alliance and they said oh yeah we got uh consolation prizes uh we got red stars and i was like where's mine i messaged the port and even though i honestly guarantee that i entered the sweepstake they said i didn't enter it i was so pissed yeah i i entered it on two accounts so oh you lucky bugger did you uh <laughs> did you win anything yeah i mean just the consolation right like oh ah. here's some red stars i was like all right but 
Oh man, that's a, I yeah. don't know. I don't know who won it, but big congratulations to whoever won it. But uh, winner, yeah. I want this costume. I think this looks sick. I was disappointed with it in the movie, but we don't have to go down that route, I guess. But the costume itself is pretty cool. Yeah, because to be honest, I love Taskmaster, but I don't like his look here. So this is just way more appealing to me. I prefer realism over super cartoonish. So yeah. that's that's just my preference. Um, is there anyone else that we're missing? Um, okay. Groot. Groot. Oh, Groot's turned into a bloody Christmas tree. Ultron. I like Ultrons. Um, yeah, but, Ultron. Again, yeah, I, again, when you watch when you watch that What If series two, man, you're yeah. gonna be super happy. Okay, amazing. I just wish they had the options. You know where they have the um, you can purchase it for an extra like hundred uh, yeah. credits. I just wish you could take the lance away. I, I oh. don't know the purpose of the lance. Do you know what the purpose of the lance is? Yeah. Again, when when you watch the the what if it it'll tell you everything. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Oh, amazing, cool. Oh, but, uh, but for me, like I wish in the second one, like with mm -hmm. the one like you said, purchase. I wish yep. his visor would go up. But again, you'll see that once it happens. Right. Okay. Now, I know that you clarified this. We have uh, Hawkeye, and when you click mm -hmm. on this, he actually gets earpieces, little hearing yeah. aids. So that's no, it. So that's, that's a bit just, disappointing. There's no color change. It's mm -hmm. just he gets the hearing aids wrapped around his ear. Um, that's it. Yeah, I don't like that costume at all. Um, but we will go to Groot. And what do you think of the uh, the Christmas tree? I mean... Like I get it, right? Because it's Christmas. Yeah. I mean, interesting. And and you know what's dope though is that yeah. they're giving it to us for free because it's a part of the past. Precisely. Yeah. I thank you for that. You know, it's holiday. Um, mm -hmm. you know, Groot is pretty much a tree, so like, you know, it's funny. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm with you. And you it for free, they're not like, hey, you want Christmas Groot? You better buy it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that. No. like if they're going to do holiday events, you know. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I'm glad they did it for free and not yeah. made us fucking pay 19.99 for it. Oh, precisely, absolutely precise. Because all the um, the costumes that have been released recently have been in the strike pass. So, yeah, um, oh, yeah. RTA. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, President Loki is back in the game now, but um, I honestly, even though I have this costume, I prefer the original. Same yeah. with yeah. Um, several of the others. I just. I just prefer the original costumes. Um, I have Daredevil. I have Black Widow. Um, yeah. So like him a shirt, a shirt that said variant, like that would have been way better than the president yeah. one that lasted like half a second on the TV show. Ah, yeah. Uh, well, you see, I haven't watched that. That's one I have to uh, to have to watch hey. as well. You are so far behind, my man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I honestly don't have time. Um, true. true. Yep. So we are going to move on to um, to Arena now. Uh, I just want to do a quick talk, get out my face, add quick talk about Arena. So I'm not doing so great so far today. How are you doing in Arena, my man? Uh, this is the best I've done, like ever. Okay. Um, with, I'm, with sitting, I'm sitting around like 16. Sometimes I get down to like eight. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's to the point where... Yeah, like there's nothing I can do. Like everybody's Eternals go before mine now. Even if I have the same exact team, uh, right. they always go before me. So, I mean, I have Icarus already at 85. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's because I don't have Xerxes at 85. Right. But yeah, everybody else goes before me. And I'm so glad it doesn't take five minutes to finish the match, though. <laughs> oh, precisely. Absolutely. Look, um, I love what? it. It could be two seconds it could be a minute but that's it nothing above fucking two minutes because that was insane the mirror matches for infinity watch was so annoying oh i know absolutely so who are the other three that you're running so it depends on who it is on defense too yeah. right yeah so i don't really like to use zemo because zemo will clear their positive effects which means icarus can't do the flip to have them on defense down yes so i'll usually use uh, this whole team, except take out Zemo and maybe put in Cable. Right. Okay. You use the speed variant. You don't have that on defense, though, do you? No, I think on defense I have Zemo there. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. I just want to say because if you put the speed variant on defense, it's easily mm -hmm. countered by Infinity Watch. But um, Ooh, I have. 
yeah i have some videos on that on my youtube channel i shall just uh, plug myself in again on that and i'm also doing a collaboration with pathfinder who put out an awesome video on the arena as well so we are both going to collab on monday at the same time as we're doing nice. this that will be on youtube we'll probably youtube live it and then uh, have it as a, a video for you guys to watch um, let me just put my youtube up here um, so i'm not going to talk too much about um about uh, this now because I have them videos up and we're doing a collab later so I shall leave it at that but there's one thing I want to say that I'm speculating so this is my guess for the future that when Damamu uh, comes he's going to be in this team as well um, oh, of course. I, I don't know where he'll fit in the Eternals will be here he will fit in somewhere um, but I reckon that Kestrel and Black Bolt will uh, their stock will rise for that kill without the revive um yeah. so if you can nuke someone with kestrel or black bolt the thing is black bolt slow so if you maybe nuke people with icarus and then black bolt black bolt pings them so that they can't revive um yeah. I, I think i think that's something to watch out for that's going to come in the future so don't sleep on them characters yeah, that's, really good. that's a really good thing yeah yeah so i'm just thinking ahead because my speciality is arena so i really try and stay up to date as much as i go in the ranking uh straight after the fights and i uh, click and look at what people are using and i take notes and look this person's used infinity watch on their last fight so um infinity watch even though he's in first place um infinity watch are still viable to uh, to counter certain teams so there will be more upon that is there anything else you would like to say about arena my dude uh yeah i just checked my rank and i'm at 68 right now so i can't hurt <laughs> 68 oh man yeah. I, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to help <laughs> you because i literally um this is my defense okay okay um so i have doom in the middle um only on defense um, because they have to focus on Doom with the ability block. If the ability block doesn't stick, they're screwed. And because they're focusing on Doom and the Doom is in the middle, it's a 50-50% chance of where they go. Um, and if my Zemo slows their Cersei or their Icarus and mine get to go first, I mean, fighting a mirror match um, with uh, my uh, attack team, um, it's, it's rough. I swear, it's rough. I... I'm slipping myself, so I'm going to have to really knuckle down and uh, get this going. But uh, you might want to try um, this team on defense, man. It holds for me. So yep, I just... held for about 20 hours uh, in fourth yesterday. Nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, I, yeah. I was trying to figure out which would be the best layout for defense. Um, mm -hmm. Because, again, I don't like using Zemo on offense. Because if he removes a positive, that defeats the whole purpose for Icarus. So the, Yeah, when you're running against doom you kind of need to just in case you don't get that double tap and you get doom down below 50 percent. i think zemo is important there but if they're not running doom by all means yeah don't run zemo yeah um but if it's working for you it's working for you just try it until it um until you need to switch things up oh my yeah. wife is saying i need to hydrate <laughs> right yeah, my we'll Hey, we've been going for an hour, so I'm going to start wrapping things up on my end so that we can go okay. to you. I think there's yeah, a, if, a couple more things I want to touch on, though. Um, yeah. Just so that way I can turn off my camera from Discord to have things already ready to go on for the transfer. Right. Okay. Just uh, if we put a pin in that just for now, just um, is there anything I'm missing that we haven't talked about yet? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we, we pretty much tallied up everything that we're interested in right now. Amazing. So everything else left, we will talk about it on your channel. There it is. You're Perfect. ready for it. Okay. So, um, Avengers is saying, am I not forgetting something? Oh, snap. Yes. Um, we'll just do this thing. Avengers asked me, um, in, uh, my discord. So I have to honor that. Um, he was saying magic. Um, she's going to get an event and I believe it's going to be an event. Oh no. Let me just, um, flip to all 
scroll down here where is my there she is so he was um so we have been hearing that she's going to get an event and i'm hoping it's going to be like a lady death strike event we've been getting a lot more of these events and i'm really happy because it's a lot more free to play for oh, people yeah. to unlock uh unlock them on these events like if you go hard you can get them to five star which i'm going to try and do because i got a five red star they're waiting for her and my x-men are beasts so she will really oh uh I, I forgot to show you um how how insane i've got on my x-men um so they're beasts um, i mean if we look at storm i was using her in u7 and i have all her t4 abilities maxed i have a video of her doing over 800k damage per character on uh, Ultimus 7 boss node, she hits like a truck when you have a fully charged. Um, and then Colossus, uh, Cyclops, sorry. Um, I know Colossus, I don't, I haven't really dug deep into um, their uh, abilities that they're getting reworked. I haven't really looked into that, same with Ravengers, even though I've started building my Ravengers. But, uh, but yeah, um, so we're wondering who is gonna be used for her event now uh avengers in my chat said there's some new um tags in here i believe one's rebel oh so, yeah the resolute uh yeah um but we also have one called defiant now we're going to touch up on that on yours because there's something coming which is uh quite exciting that will use defiance she said uh, my yeah, my wife is saying that, baby. If you want to do that, you have to redeem it with channel points, please. <laughs> um, so we have Defiant, which is a new tag, which uh, we're gonna have to see what that's for. Um, and what else? I saw another one here. The the nowhere heist. Only five characters here. That's uh, that's interesting. That there's only five characters. Uh, could that be for a legendary? Uh, what's the tag that uh, relates them all? Uh, do you know by any chance? I have absolutely no clue. I don't even know what the nowhere heist is. So you're hitting me with some facts right now. Yeah. Have you have you read the blog post by any chance? For no, not anything to do with nowhere heist. Now you got to mm. pull that up. Mm. Um, what about pierced uh, pierced veil? This is another new one. This sounds like it could be uh, for a an event. Because we can't forget that uh, one of the... I believe it's Spider-Punk is going to get a campaign event. And then yeah. we have Magic getting her event. So there's one. And then you said there was one more. So there's four that I, um, I don't know about. So I'm sorry we're not getting you here. Yeah, there's... Um, rebel and resolute and they are interchangeable as well uh so we have rebel and then we have resolute rebel who is it's just four characters oh so the resolute the resolute is definitely going to be for scarlet 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 spidey do you reckon if he's in this tag do you reckon this will be used to unlock him uh, yeah probably okay okay cool uh rebel Wolvis is saying Rebel is the spider punk tag. Okay, so Rebel is the spider punk tag. Uh, that's interesting. Um, I'm personally going to hold my hands up and say I really don't know. The best person, the best people to um, get this information from will be the envoys. They have the information. Okay. Yeah, look, all three, all three new Spideys are in the Rebel uh, Rebel tag. Resolute is the tag for the new game mode tower. Yes, we were gonna we were gonna pick up on that. Um, that looks interesting, and I think we'll talk a little bit more about that on your channel. I'm gonna wrap things up here because I need to get prepared for when I jump over to you. So I want to say a big shout out to everyone for stopping by. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure doing this collab with uh, my man Panda. I need to make sure to point it that way um yeah it's been it's been amazing um let me let me know um i'm just gonna post my um discord and my youtube for one last time um 
and I'll also post up um, uh, to follow Pat, Fat Panda because we're going to jump over to him now. Um, if you would like this to become a series, um, let me know. Uh, either whisper to me on Twitch or message on one of my YouTube videos. This is this video is actually going up on YouTube as well. And uh, yeah, my Discord. Feel free to uh, to drop in. My wife has a quick question before we end. Why is it called Fat Panda when he's not fat? I asked him this question, uh, Fat Panda. Um, my wife's asking, why are you called Fat Panda if you're not fat? Everyone says this. I, I see. The thing is, I am fat, so uh, I, I use it. This is terrible, right? I, I use it as kind of like negative, positive reinforcement, um, mm -hmm. because I used to be very fit. Mm -hmm. um as time went on i became very happy with my fiance uh, i haven't really focused strongly in the gym and my diet like i used to so right. my belly's getting a little bit bigger mm. so my my strength is still there i just right. you know i look more like poe now so i thought fat panda was a great route to go down mm. i enjoyed it i love pandas in the first place yeah and one day hopefully i can go from fat panda to fit panda so that's the overall goal <laughs> Hey, oh, it's it's all good. Oh, I've just seen um, your Ralph is in chat. That's amazing. There's so many names that I uh, haven't seen. Oh, uh, Rolf, Define, Define is not a new tag. It's a tag for Cersei event. Right. Mm. Okay, I'm with you. The Wolvers, thanks for stopping by. Same miscreant. Uh, Pierced Veil was Lady Deathstrike event. Thank you for clearing that up. Uh, Wolver says Rebel, Rebel is the spider punk tag. Anti Blade Resolute is the tag for the new game mode tower. We said it's already in a data mine. Big shout to 800, it's me, um, is in the chat. He says, um, No, where Heist might be T'Challa Star Lord unlock. Um, I asked the same question. Oh, I'm sorry if I didn't see it. Um, and then I'm so glad. I was here for him to explain his name. <laughs> Everyone asks that question. Right, so let's get this raid going. I'm going to... Are you online currently at the moment? I am not. Let me go ahead and throw it up real quick. Right, okay. Yep, you do that. And then I will uh, drop a raid over. Um, does anyone have any questions? Um, is there anything you'd like to see on um, Fat Panda's um, stream? Is there anything we've missed? Is there anything that um, that you guys would like to know? Uh, Nowhere Heist is a new Flash event, I thought. Yes, precisely. We were going to touch up on that in, um, in Fat Panda's uh, Twitch on his stream. Um, and I believe that a lot of that information is Tana. So if you can have it set up, uh, Panda, where we could possibly put a Tana video on in the background, I think that would be amazing so that we could um, we could explain it a little bit. I will have my green screen back up, guys, for the next one. So the picture will be a lot better, I just want to say. The heist event flash coming? Or yeah, so the top? Uh, no, so uh, nowhere, nowhere heist is uh, apparently data mined as a new flash, uh, a new flash yeah. event. Um, yeah. So that will be uh, that will be very interesting. I'm I'm very curious to see what it will be to unlock. Now I do have speculation; it will be for new ability materials, like Star Lord of Galaxy. Um, they have like ultra rare abilities that you can unlock for certain characters which makes them like really overpowered so i think yeah. they might do that for like some like legendary characters in the game not just legendary but i mean like i don't know kestrel uh because she's one of the strongest or something like that like an empowered form or i don't know something um it's all down to speculation we might have to watch a ton of video to see what he says for sure yep yeah. uh are you ready to go uh, yes, I am ready to go. So let me go ahead and turn off my camera here. Okay. So that like way. Here are my Streamlabs. And then make sure you switch your camera on over too as well. Fantastic. Will do. Right, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, we're going to jump over to Fat Panda now. I just want to say thank you all for stopping by. 
uh really really appreciate it um i'll see you over there take care and peace out thank you guys saying saints rating whoop, whoop. what's going on everybody